Hey, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this catapult right here, all out of paper. This build off will start by wrapping a piece of paper around our wooden dowel right here. And once you have it fully wrapped, you can go ahead and tape off each of the ends. So we tape off the middle and each side as you can see. Now as you can see here, I went ahead and made three more paper cylinders, which you'll have to do as well. And um, the way I made them is the same as I made the first one. So now we have three here, as you can see. Now we have to make two more, and these next two will be bigger than the first two, and we'll wrap them by rolling them around the initial one we made. So as you can see here, we tape it off the same way, the only difference is they're wider, and fit directly over the smaller ones we made. So go ahead and make two of those. Now we're going to go ahead and make sure you have the middles taped off of the, all the cylinders. And um, we're going to go ahead and cut the two, the three small ones, sorry, in half. So we'll cut the three small ones in half, but not the big one. As we should have done already, we already taped off the end of the big roll. Now we're going to put one more layer of tape right beside where we, the other tape ended. And now just cut that off. So it's two pieces of tape wide. Now we'll go back to the small piece. And we'll put a line of tape down the edge where the roll ends. So that the edge where the roll ends is totally smoothed out by tape. And now that we've done that, we can put the big piece on it. And it will rotate freely. Now it's on to building the base. For the base, we're using hot glue to connect all the pieces. And it's made up of all the small half pieces that we cut out before. So we'll glue them on like so. Now we're putting glue on the wider cylinder. This is the one that we did not cut in half with the smaller ones, but only cut a small piece off the end of it. And we're going to use this for the catapult arm. So we'll stick that on to the rotating part and hold it there until it dries. And as you can see it rotates with the rotating part and then we'll just secure that with lots of glue. Now we're back to building the structure of the catapult and we'll glue on two pieces that stick up straight up vertically. Now we'll need another cylinder, which we'll go ahead and cut in half. You can go build that the same way we built either of the other two cylinders, the wide or the skinny ones. And we'll go ahead and glue that on the inside of these uprights here. And now, you can slide the elastic band on, leaving one side unglued so that the elastic band can slide on. And the elastic band will latch right behind our catapult arm, as you can see. And then I'll glue off the side that I did not glue yet. Now you can go ahead and build two more cylinders the same way we did before. And as you see, I'll cut them to size so that they span from the very top of the upright to the back of our base. And then I'll go ahead and just glue them in place. And hold that in place until it dries. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing and build one more on the other side. So we're just building another support with another cylinder that we built the same way as always. And just put it in position so it fits and then glue it in place again. And hold it till it dries. Now I'm just going to fast forward through this. I'm just going to glue all the joints because I've put enough glue to hold it in place but now I want to make sure it doesn't fall apart when um, a lot of tension and stress goes into those joints. Now I'm positioning the elastic band in place, and now I'm just going to glue it in place. Now you want to glue it, and there's no tension in the elastic band. And just reinforce that with glue. 
And then we'll glue the bottle cap to the catapult so that it can hold the payload, which will be launched out of it. And once that's dry, you can see me load it up and shoot something across the room. So that pretty much concludes the video. Once the catapult's done, you can go ahead and test it all you want. Now if you want to see more projects like this, go check out my YouTube channel and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.